share some ideas with you, some gardening ideas if you've got a, if you don't have any room at all. You're short on room like I am, I have hardly any yard. And lucky for me, I've got master gardener friends like Vance Walter, who's going to be a special guest in the show. Yeah, he's just a real sweetheart. He's the closest thing to a modern Mr. Rogers that you could get. And he's a neighbor in, in around here. And uh, it's really cool because we have what's called a curb strip right here. And a curb strip is between the sidewalk and the street. Only certain trees are allowed to be grown here. And, and they want mostly fruitless trees so that they don't have to worry about fruit going down into the street. But there's relatives to some of the trees on the list that do produce fruit and are, are legal. Some of the master gardeners can help you out with that. So what I've done, I've got dogwoods are legal here. And uh, there's one called the Russian Cornus Mass. And there's a variety, there are several varieties actually that produce a lot of fruit. So that's what we're going to put in here, and we're just going to take you on a tour and show you some, some other gardening ideas. So first we got to take the grass out away from it, huh? Yeah. So that's, the grass is tore up now. I just pick a side and dig, huh? Try to get it in a little area where there are not too many roots from the other tree coming out. So I can nestle it in there. And that roots kind of grow together? Yeah. How's that look? Oh, Alright. That's pretty close. You want me to start filling it in? Yeah. Uh, well, hold on to it. Okay. I got some stuff I want to put in there. And it's rock rock phosphate. Yeah. Rock phosphate. Rock, rock phosphate. It's real. Rich in, in phosphates. It really helps a new tree. Okay. Got you. So this will look like one tree eventually. Yeah. Oh, cool. You get a lot of more fruit off that way, too, you know. Nice. Yeah, that's good. All right. Thanks, Vance. Yeah, no problem. And you don't want? Yeah, because the way these are, you know, you want eventually branching, you know. Down here, you get down here, it's kind of like it's... Uh, gonna be hard to pick and uh, work around. They're oh, okay. Perfect. And being that it's a dwarf, it'll grow low anyway. Well, it depends. Uh, if anything, you have to tell them, tell them who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you want to keep the, the the bark and that away from the trunk. You know. See, like here, if you want this up like that. Yeah, see like that? That's about ideal. Okay. Now do I have a stake and twine anything you think or uh I take a bunch of this out of here. A bunch of the dirt? Yeah. Good. You see that's uh, because your trunk here that's buried you don't want you don't want it to be buried. Oh okay. So what we've done here guys is uh, we're growing two apple trees together. This is a Cosmic Crisp, developed at the uh, WSU College. And this one is a Liberty Apple. And uh, we can take two or three different apples like this, grow them together. They cross-pollinate. You don't have a lot of room. They can grow together as one tree. And you're always going to have apples. And then if you get them in slightly different bearing seasons, then you can have bearing fruit uh, throughout the end of the year. So that's, it's a pretty cool way to do it. So here in Portland, Oregon, where you don't have a lot of room, people splay out their trees to a bush. It makes everything easily accessible and low. And uh, we're only looking at one tree here. Look at all that fruit, that's really cool. It's really cool the way they did that. 
uh, it's still a young tree. Wow. After a while, they'll get a foot across. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Must be sensitive to uh, frost, huh? Not really. It's just it's a young plant, and I always uh, protect them, you know. I'll probably protect it another year, uh, and then I'll just, you know, I might just keep on wrapping it. David Kulo, look, look, at, look at the flowers on it. Wow. Get a, get a whiff of them. They're really fragrant. I bet the hummingbirds love this one, huh? I don't know. See how big they are? See, and, and like the, the outer outer petals, they're flopped down, and in the inner petals, they stay up like that. Make it look really cool. Man. That's pretty cool. And Hey, just wanted to show you guys. Um, I have a decomposition pit here. I'm sure there's other terms for it where you throw your, your vegetables and uh, seeds and different things so that they can decompose and and uh, and you can use them for fertilizer or whatever else you're going to use them for. But interestingly enough, I've had a bunch of seeds come up <clears throat> here in this pit and uh, I've got a little uh, a little mango tree here this is really cool let me show you yeah that's a mango tree growing in there and uh, I've already pulled out a couple avocados and I've got them growing